play a round called There's a Labour Party in My Pants and Everyone's Invited. <laughs> this game involves Nish and Milton, so if you could make your way to the performance area, please. This round is a stand-up challenge. I launched a wheel of news and wherever it chooses to stop, one of our performers must step forward and talk about that subject. OK, here we go. Let's spin the wheel. And the first topic is health. Who wants to come out? Nish. I had a bit of a health emergency uh, last year. I was doing the washing up and I cut my hand. I was washing up and I pushed my hand into a glass, the glass shattered and it slashed my hand here and I had to go to hospital. And let me tell you this, the NHS staff are incredible. They're really nice to me, they're really sweet. One of them called me a brave boy. Uh, <laughs> which is good, cos I was being one, so I don't know what you're laughing at, OK? <laughs> I'm the one with the badge. Anyway... <laughs> Before I did that, uh, I did something which I probably regret doing. I called NHS 111. Now, if you don't know what this service is, it's a service the government has brought in to replace NHS Direct. So if you have a non-life-threatening emergency, you're supposed to dial 111 on your phones. Now, I'm sure that these people are very nice, but based on my experience, they are proportionately less skill than their numerical value compared to 999, because <laughs> it was the blind leading the blind. At one point, she said, how is the blood? And I said... Red, because I had no idea. <laughs> then she said, is there a lot of blood? I said, yes, because there was a lot of blood. And she said, is there enough to fill a mug? <laughs> I got no idea. I don't wish to brag. I have a lot of different mug sizes in my house. <laughs> also, while this was happening, I was just panicking. I wasn't decanting the blood in the hope it would be poured back into my body at a later date. Then she said, is the blood flowing or oozing? I said, I have no idea what the difference is between those two things is. And she said, oh, there's a difference. <laughs> into a semantic debate with you while blood is gushing out of my hand. And she just went, gushing, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Nish, come on. OK, that leaves us with Milton. Let's see what you've been left with. And the topic is transport. <laughs> when I was at school, my bike was smashed up. It was my own fault, really. I just handed out leaflets saying, bullying, let's break the cycle. <laughs> We've been over this again and again and again, said my driving instructor, pointing to the badger. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, there is actually a road in the north of England called Quality Street. And there's only one person living in it, and he's both Turkish and delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Tricky, isn't it, if you're both a moth and a sea captain? <laughs> in charge of a ship. But up ahead, you see a lighthouse. <laughs> you know you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Toilets in trains are rubbish, aren't they? Especially the one right at the front, and the bloke in there gets so cross. <laughs> Come on, come on, Mark.